Hey there, Michael Bust, math teacher here. Welcome back to my channel where I share videos on how to solve both Math 7 and pre-algebra problems. Alright, here's a segment I like to call DAF jokes. Dad plus math jokes. Get it? Here we go. How do you make 7 even? You subtract the S. Get it? Oh, that's so funny. So we've reached the last lesson in chapter two. So we're at lesson 2.8, financial literacy, and we're gonna take a look at simple interest. In this lesson, we're gonna use the simple interest formula. And it's a fairly simple uh, formula to use. We just need to know what all the different pieces are. So my first piece right here is this I, and that's going to be my interest earned over a period of time. It could also be the interest that I pay uh, back to a bank or to a credit card. That's gonna equal the product of P, R, and T. P is going to be the principal, and this is the amount that either we're depositing into a bank account or perhaps we're borrowing as a loan. The next part of the formula is R, and that's gonna be our rate, and it has to be expressed as a decimal. And then the last part is going to be time in years. And they have to be whole number years. Um, and we'll see what happens when we have uh, a, a problem that involves either uh, less than a year or somewhere between two whole years. This is exa uh, actually examples one and two on page 168. So Arnold deposits 580 into his savings account. Uh, the account pays 3% simple interest. How much will uh, she earn in five years and in six months? So let's start out with our formula of the interest equals the principal times the rate times the time. So in this problem, the $580, that's going to be our principal. Our rate is going to be 3%. And then our time in both of the, in, in example one and example two, uh, one of the times is five years and the other one is six months. So let's just start plugging in some of the numbers. So I'm gonna put in 580, and I'm gonna multiply that by, I gotta figure out what 3% is as a decimal, and I know that that is 0 0.03. And then I'm gonna multiply those two numbers by the number of years, which is going to be five. Five hundred and eighty times zero point zero three times five is going to be eighty seven dollars of interest. What happens when uh, we only have the money deposited for six months? So we'll start with the same equation. I equals PRT. The principal still is five hundred and eighty dollars. The rate is still zero point zero three, but now the time has changed a little bit. Instead of a whole year, we have six months. And we could think of six months as six over 12, or one half. And if we convert that to a decimal, we'll have 0 0.5. So now, when I multiply all of those together, 580 times 0 0.03 times 0 0.5, I will get $8.70. So there's my $8.70 interest earned after only six months. Now, why don't you work on a couple of problems on your own? On page 169, try problems A and B. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea to pause the video um, and then come up with a solution, and then hit play and you can see um, how you are comparing to my answers. 
All right, in problem A, I'm always going to start out with my I equals PRT. My principal in this case is going to be 1,560. And I'm going to multiply that by my rate, which is going to be 0 0.025. And then I'm going to multiply it by the years, which is 3. And so I get as a simple interest of $117. All right, now in problem B, we start off again with I equals principal times the rate times the time. In this case, my principal is $760. My rate is 4% or 0 0.04. And then I'm going to multiply that by the years, which is 5. And when I multiply all three of those numbers together, I get $152. Sometimes interest comes in the form of something that you must pay back. Uh, so, for example, if you borrow money from a bank or you have any... Uh, unpaid balance on your credit card, then you will have what's called an interest owed. So let's take a look at a problem involving this. All right, once again, start out with the interest equals principal times rate times time. My principal is $6,300 times the rate. 6% is going to be 0 0.06, and the time is going to be two years. Multiply all three of those numbers together, and you get $756 interest paid in two years. In example four, we have a problem that involves the use of a credit card. Uh, Derek's dad bought uh, some new tires for his car, uh, and it cost $900. Uh, he used his credit card to purchase those tires. The interest rate on the credit card is 19%. Now, let's assume that he has not made any other purchase, purchases on the card, and he has not made a payment. What we want to find out is how much will he owe after one month? As always, I'm starting out with my simple interest formula, and I'm just going to plug in the numbers where they're appropriate. So um, $900 is the principal. That's how much I've borrowed or used on my credit card. Uh, 0 0.19 is the rate. And then just remember that I'm only doing this for one month. Uh, so I've got to calculate what 1 12th one month out of 12 months uh, is as a decimal. So 1 over 12 is equivalent to 0 0.083 repeating. I'm just going to simplify that to 0 0.08. Now when I multiply all of those numbers together, I'm going to get an interest owed of $14.25. Now I still have to pay the $900 for the tires plus the $14.25 interest. So my total payment for that month is going to be $914.25. Now why don't you try a couple more problems on your own? On page 169, try problem C and D. And I think at this point, it would make a lot of them pause the video um, and then come up with a solution and then hit play and you can see um, how you are comparing to my answers. So by now you should have noticed the pattern that I'm always starting with uh, the simple interest formula. Uh, in problem C, I'm gonna start out with $1,400 as my principal. My interest rate is 0 0.055, and the, the time is 8 months, so I can think of that as 8 over 12. Now, if I just kind of further simplify that, 
I'm going to turn 8 twelfths into a simpler fraction, equivalent fraction, and that would be 2 thirds. Now, since I'm dealing with decimals, I want to just make sure I convert 2 thirds into a decimal, and I'm going to get close. Uh, 2 thirds is about 0 0.67, um, so my interest is going to be an approximation. And so at the end of eight months, uh, the interest that I'll have to pay is $51.33. Problem D, um, now we're looking at how much am I going to have to pay uh, on my credit card bill. So um, the office supplies cost $425. Uh, there's a 9.9% .9 interest rate on that. And we're only going to figure out the simple interest for one month. So one twelfth. Um, I know from a previous problem that one over 12 was 0 0.083 repeating. I'm just going to simplify that to 0 0.08. And then after that one month, I'm going to be responsible for paying $3.51 in interest. But I still have to pay for the $425 that I used to purchase uh, all those office supplies. So the total that I'm going to have to pay for borrowing that $425 is $428.51. Example five is slightly different than the other problems that we've been working on. Uh, in this case, we don't know what the interest rate is. And so we were going to use the exact same formula, but there's going to be some pieces that are missing that weren't missing in the other problems, but you'll be uh, just fine. All right. So in this case, uh, I know the interest that I'm paying at the end of the loan, and that's $300. Uh, the principal is $5,000. That's how much I borrowed. I don't know what the rate is, but I do know that I'm going to try to pay this off in two years. Now, to simplify this, what I want to do is I want to take the 5000 and multiply it by 2, and I'll get 10000 R. The next thing I have to do is I have to divide both sides by 10,000. 10,000 R divided by 10,000, that's just going to be 1 R or R, and then 300 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.03. And if I convert that to a percent, that means it's a 3% interest rate. So why don't you try one more problem on your own before starting to work on the homework assignment, and that would be page 170, problem E. Uh, once again, get started on that problem, pause the video, um, and then come up with a solution, and then hit play, and you can see um, how you are comparing to my answers. So like in example five, we're looking for the interest rate once we know the interest that has been earned or owed, we know what the principal is and we know what the time is. So my interest is going to be $390 and that's going to equal 2,600 times R times three. 2,600 times three is 7,800 R I'm going to divide both uh, sides of the equation by 7,800. 7,800 R divided by 7,800 is R, 1 R. And then 390 divided by 7,800 comes out to be 0 0.05 or 5% interest. So your homework for tonight is on two pages. On page 171, do problems 2, 4, 6, and 8. And then on page 173, do problem number 22. Make sure you're showing your work. Don't just, uh, you know, just show an answer. Don't just go right to something like PhotoMath or some uh, online site that gives all the answers. 
just writing down the answers or just copying them from somebody else does not help you at all. So please make sure you're doing the work. And if you have some questions because you couldn't get them solved, that's what our next class period is going to be about. So good luck and we'll see you soon. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more math tutorials.